What's up my friends? Welcome back, you're watching Harv Video Audio Stuff and in this video I'm checking out this, the Sennheiser MKE 600 shotgun microphone specifically for use for making these kind of videos and as you saw in the intro, I'm going to get the guitar out. So now I have a Patreon for this channel. It's non-profit, the idea being that with any funds from Patreon I buy equipment and then do a completely unbiased review and then give away the gear to backers. It's inexpensive to be a backer, just the cost of a cup of coffee. It's a really elegant way of me improving my content and it allows me to do gear giveaways. In fact, so far I've given away stuff to the value of hundreds. This, however, I bought with my own cash and won't be giving it away because I plan on introducing it to my gear setup. So what is it? The Sennheiser MKE 600 is an active, meaning it requires power, super cardioid shotgun microphone which feels very much like it's been designed with filmmaking in mind. Sennheiser, everyone knows them, they're a German company that were founded just weeks after the end of World War II, so they've been making really high quality audiophile gear for a really long time. In the kit you get the mic of course, a foam windshield, an XLR to aux cable so you can plug straight into your camera, a mic clip that gives a little isolation and a nice pouch which is handy but offers little in the way of Protection. Speaking of the mic clip that you get, it has a cold shoe mount and then a quarter 20 thread underneath. So this has definitely been designed with videography in mind and it doesn't have any of the common other thread sizes that you might see on uh, common microphone stands and I really wish it did. So far using this mic I've been positioning it over subjects heads and as yet I haven't been able to use the supplied mic clip so that's kind of annoying. What I would recommend to go with this is to get one of these which is a universal mic clip. The microphone just clips in, it's super handy, they're really inexpensive and uh, I'll just link this one below for you. Features wise, the MKE 600 is really quite simple, as you'd expect. It has a low cut filter, which starts to roll off at around 100 hertz. Why would you want to use this when you can just apply that same effect in editing? Well, if you know you're going to use it, why not just save yourself a step? I use a low cut on almost everything I record, except for situations where capturing sub frequencies is essential and right now I can't even think of any. Also bear in mind when you're recording audio you only have a limited amount of headroom to deal with. I suppose it's a bit like dynamic range in video. And a lot of that headroom is taken up by the lower frequencies. So if you don't need the almost inaudible sub frequencies, a low cut filter is a really good thing to have. It requires phantom power as I mentioned, but luckily with this mic you can battery power it with just one AA battery. How incredible is that? One battery gives you an incredible 150 hours of runtime and there's a little LED indicator that will blink when you get down to the eight hour mark. This is just a, an outstanding feature and as I mentioned before, it also comes with an XLR to aux cable so you can have essentially a studio quality microphone on the go. The polar pattern of the MKE, basically what the microphone hears, is super cardioid and that's way more directional than most microphones it's kind of like that like that also bear in mind not all super cardioid microphones are born equal the on-camera type microphones from companies like Rode and Deity uh, which are also super cardioid I find the Sennheiser has far better reach it's more directional it's got better rejection better. One really important thing to consider when buying a shotgun mic is how well it rejects sound from the rear and from the sides. Probably the best way to demonstrate this is if I just if I just maybe plug it in and show you. Let's do that now. Oh, hello. So I filmed a whole section and I was hand holding the microphone and I started to edit the video and changed my mind. I thought it'd be cooler actually just to show this, a kind of more vloggy style. The microphone is on top of the camera and I'm using the battery powered mode, so that's really cool. And just wanted to see, show you what you could get sort of, you know, with a completely mobile rig. Um, and I also wanted to check the rejection. So let's do it now. I'm gonna move around and see what it's like. Okay, and kind of a 45 degree, degree angle and then a 90 degree angle and I'm hoping yeah, well, I don't know, what does that sound like? Let's move back, move back, and back to centre. So, hopefully it's pretty good. Back to the video. 
I've switched back to my normal microphone now and I am going to do some further testing on rejection later in the video. So, how's the build quality? Sennheiser say this is an all metal construction unspecified metal. I, I'm guessing it's mostly aluminium, but I can say it has a lovely feel. I mean, the fit and finish are just first rate. Really good. The matte finish of the barrel, I can tell you, is really lovely and sleek, but I'm telling you now, this is going to scuff up really easily. Whilst I was looking to buy this, I looked into secondhand options, as I always do. It's a great way to buy. In the end, I ended up buying it new because the price difference was really similar and almost every second-hand version I found was scuffed and chipped and all of that kind of stuff. And this tells me one important thing, and that's that you can beat this thing up and it's still gonna work well and it will retain its value pretty well. Moving on to user experience, and as you can imagine, it's super easy to use. In use, I found it much easier than many other microphones to get a really great professional sound and believe me when I say that. Audio is what I originally studied and I have lots of experience with a vast array of microphones. So how does it sound in real world tests? Well recently I used it to film an interview with John Parrish who's a music producer who did Tracy Chapman, Eels, PJ Harvey, Aldous Harding, really impressive career. Of course it was a perfect opportunity to try it out so I prioritised it, I used it on John's vocals and on the interviewer I used my old favourite AKG C414. I love the way it turned out, here's how it sounds. He's walking across yeah. the scene, it's not like um, it's going to be affecting mm. what, what I'm doing. It, the only time it, it, it affects me is if I'm recording some very quiet stuff which sometimes do for some of the film soundtrack work and then I just, you know, have to work around. I also wanted to test the Sennheiser on vocals at varying distances and to further test out the rejection. Here's what happened. So this is the Sennheiser about 10 inches away and it should sound really direct. Now we've got it about two foot away, should still be sounding good but you might hear a bit more of the room. Now we still have it at two foot but pointing up and that is just to see what kind of rejection we get. And finally we have it about five foot away, which you wouldn't really want much further than that anyway, but we just thought we'd try it to see how it sounds. Um, to be honest, this is a f an untreated and fairly lively sounding room. Next, I got the guitar out to see what this sounded like on something that's really full frequency. And this should be the ace up the sleeve for the MKE 600 because this style of mic tend to do very well on things like acoustic instruments. Let's see. When considering value for money, I think it's important to have some context. This microphone has, as far as I perceive it, the reputation of being a pretty high-end microphone. As I mentioned, I come from an audio background originally, and I can tell you that this, from the context of a recording studio microphone, is extremely budget-friendly. So I would say, value-wise, the MKE 600 is superb. It's around the same price as the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, a microphone that I've owned in the past, and subjectively, I can say the audio I've had from the Sennheiser has been far higher quality. At this stage, you might be thinking, yeah, Harv, but the Rode is smaller and lighter, and smaller, a little, but lighter, nope. There's like six grams difference. Microphones that are closer comparisons to the MKE 600 are things like the Deity S Mic 2, the Rode NTG 2, and NTG 4 and 4 Plus. And I've tried all of these and I don't like any of them as much as the MKE 600. And really what the MKE 600 reminds me of is a mini version of the legendary Sennheiser MKH 416. Next it's time for the pros and cons, and I'll start with the pros because I'm a glass half full kind of guy. On with the pros, and firstly, it sounds 
great. You get classy audio that just oozes quality. I was really impressed with the rejection, which is particularly important to me with this kind of microphone. That optional battery phantom power is a stunning feature. Really impressive. And 150 hour battery life? I definitely wasn't expecting that. Amazing. It is beautifully built, really well machined, lovely finish, I, I can't really fault it. And lastly, the value, it's stunning. If I'd heard this microphone blind and was told I was listening to an $800 mic, I would have believed it. And onto the cons, and the price for some people will be a con. I can imagine people grouping this in the same category as the Rode VideoMic Pro, and then just buying a Rode because they're cheaper and they may be more familiar with Rode as a brand. But this is so not the case, they shouldn't be categorised together. The Sennheiser is so much better. Seriously, it's in a different league and believe me when I say this is inexpensive for the audio quality you get. The mic clip mount is designed with videography in mind only. A more flexible design would have been appreciated. It's missing a couple of features, like a pad to reduce the input for recording in high volume situations. Personally, I rarely need this feature, but it would still be nice to have. And an 11th hour addition to the cons, and kind of an important one, this mic doesn't have an auto off function. With a lot of microphones, when they're plugged into your camera, they can sense when your camera is switched off, and in turn, they will switch off to save power. I'm curious to know if there's a technical reason that this couldn't be included, but it's kind of disappointing. Finally, to my opinion of the Sennheiser MKE 600, and I'm really impressed. I like it quite a bit more than I thought I would. I love the sound quality, the build, the feel, and I actually think it's outstanding value as well. In my opinion, audio isn't prioritised enough amongst videographers, and I personally think it really should be. I would recommend the MKE 600 over almost anything else out there, unless you wanted something that was significantly more directional, or significantly better sounding, or, or higher quality. So what would I change? I would probably add a pad, for just in case. I would address the mic clip, make it more versatile. Maybe a slightly more protective case, but the mic itself? Nothing. Of course, I would have loved to have had an auto off function as mentioned. The saving grace with this, of course, is that it uses AA batteries, which are by far the most common battery on earth. So the remedy for this is just to carry a spare and then you're good for another 150 hours. Anyway, that's it for now. I just hope you found this interesting and helpful. I want to hear from you. What's your number one microphone of choice for video work? I, I want to know brands, model numbers. Perhaps even one that I should check out and compare with the MKE 600. Let me know in the comment section. I've now filmed hundreds of videos about videography and audio, of which YouTube has handpicked this video for you, and the one below is my most recent upload. Until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys. Leave it to you to give me another choice. While the buildings crumble, humble the mind by the way you embrace. And when I find you see.